Welcome back, my beautiful friends. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up next in our business and buzz segment brought to us by Revere Securities, we're featuring Jeff Thompson, CEO of Red Cat Holdings. Now, they're at the forefront of providing solutions for the rapidly growing commercial and recreational drone industries. That's right. Now, whether you call them unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, miniature pilotless aircraft, or flying mini robots, drones are rapidly growing in popularity. They're still in the infancy stage in terms of mass adoption and usage, but drones have already broken through rigid traditional barriers in industries which otherwise seemed impenetrable by similar technological innovations. Now, drones are a transformative technology that over the next decade will change in ways you likely have never imagined. And although you may not spend much time thinking about the future of drones, they will have a serious impact on all of all of our lives. Now, over the past few years, drones have become central to the functions of various businesses and governmental organizations, and have even managed to pierce through areas where certain industries were either stagnant or lagging behind. From quick deliveries at rush hour to scanning an unreachable military base, drones features are providing to be extremely beneficial in places where man can't reach or is unable to perform in a timely and efficient manner. And today we're chatting all things drones, how they are saving lives, and what makes them a great portfolio investment. Welcome to the show, my friend. Great. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, It's good to be back. Good to, good to have you back. All right. So very recently, there was a headliner. There was a 14-year-old boy, Jeff, that was in danger of drowning off the Spanish shores of Valencia. This happened not long ago. And help came in an unusual form, a drone. And within seconds of spotting trouble, lifeguards used walkie-talkies to notify um, trained drone pilots to fly over the child and the drone um, really battled crosswinds and hovered a few feet over the boy dropping an auto inflating life vest and shortly after the child put the vest on of course a lifeguard arrived on you know on a personal watercraft to bring him back to shore but the rescue mission relied on technology from the spanish company that that offered really a preview into the future of what summers could look like and at really at how you can just take a life and, and save it in a matter of seconds when every moment counts. Tell me at Red Cat, what, you're at the forefront of this technology. Talk to me about more where drones are headed uh, in rescue missions specifically. Well, that's a, it's, it's a great topic and one that's very fresh as I just got back from uh, North Carolina meeting with a bunch of the folks at Fort Bragg. But the, the, the Red Cat theory uh, and mindset is that we, we truly believe that drones are going to change the world where if, Five years from now, you're going to be like, how on earth did we live without drones? And the example of uh, someone getting rescued out of the water is something that no one would have thought about five or six years ago. And you're just going to continue to, to see things like that happening. There's been people, uh, there's, you know, defibrillators on golf courses now that have actually been used and saved lives because of drones, things of that nature. Uh, you're just going to continue to see that. And uh, because it's fresh on my mind, because I just got back from meeting with the folks in in the government, uh, drones have truly changed warfare in Ukraine. Uh, Small class one drones like the one that we make, which is called the Golden Eagle, uh, which is also, it's in the Ukraine right now, uh, hopefully saving lives, that's about as much as I will say. Uh, But there's so much that information that you can get from a drone or things like rescuing someone, uh, it's just gonna continue to happen and again, you're just going to drones will change our lives over the next five to 10, actually 30 years. This is going to be a 30 year cycle. And it's they're basically flying robots. Robots are doing so much. They're like, you know, you got the EV market uh, has been huge. Drones are EVs also, but they're flying EVs. So there's there's going to be a lot happening. You're going to hear stories like that. That boy saved all the time from now on. Yeah. And when you go back to exactly a very timely topic, 
yes, Ukraine's armed forces have very effectively shown um, how consumer drones can be used to find targets, to direct you know, artillery fire, to assess battle damage, and more importantly, drop grenades on the Russians while these large R-18 um, autocopters carry anti-tank bombs. Even small quadcopters can deliver grenades with really high accuracy. And we've seen this in the video found online from the 93rd Brigade. It showed a drone carrying out a very impressive precision strike through an open doorway. And it was the first known attack of this type with a consumer drone. So you are 100% correct. Um, let's move on to something a, a little bit more global here. So we're in the middle of an, of, of an explosion of innovation in drone technology on a global scale. And according to a report by venture capitalists at uh, Vice Tech Ventures, there's been $5 billion of investment in drone technology in the past two years. And globally, we see that the investment appetite is going towards deep tech companies. It's not only the drones. So we're also going to see high growth of the level of interest from quantum technologies, for example, or deep artificial intelligence. What do you say to this trend and what advice do you have for investing in the space? Yeah, there, there's, uh, you know, the drone industry has gone through uh, kind of almost three waves. The original wave when uh, Jeff Bezos talked about deliveries on 60 Minutes in 2013, and we haven't gotten to that delivery phase yet. It's just starting to happen now. So things take longer, but the drone technology has truly matured where you can do things that you couldn't just do a few years ago. We've, and not to be just self-promotional, but we just launched a, a product called the Foreship. It's basically one operator to many drones, which loosens up three other pilots to do other things, very efficient. But for instance, for first responders, you can get 360 degree of situational awareness. And not only can you take that swarm and, and set it to go look at something like that, they can orbit slowly. So you're getting live looks at anyone trying to come out of a window and find out where people are in that building. And it can really make it safe for an officer to come up to a really tricky situation. It's already stressful. So having an automated basically autonomous swarm capability with just four drones because once you're af after four drones the cognitive load of, of, of handling more than four is very difficult so that's why we have it called for it's called the four ship but it, the the basically you're investing in robotics information technology we've partnered with other companies that can give you real-time mapping of of that location can tell you the line of sight that the the enemy or the the person that's doing something bad in a building for situational awareness can see you or you can see them. You know if they can see you or not. You have a plan of attack. There's many different things with software on top of an airframe platform that's just doing stuff that would blow your mind. Exactly. And this is something that just blew my mind that I read about drones. So, you know, as we know that the United States is embarking on this massive overhaul of its of its aging infrastructure, right? And there's perhaps no better tool than these extra set of mechanical eyes, right? Drones and businesses that invest in drone technology, whether airborne, underwater, or on land, could could prove instrumental as millions of miles of roads, pipelines, bridges, and utilities are going to need to be inspected before and after significant funding, you know, in their rehabilitation, so to speak. So not only that, but but the work will also need to be monitored. So collected data and imagery will keep stakeholders yep. informed, right? Really making the infrastructure easier to maintain throughout its its entire life cycle. So image, uh, imagine 3D digital twins of the country's infrastructure showing progress on maintenance maintenance, construction, and operations. That's really where I'm talking about that we're headed. So in your point of view, in the next five years, uh, what industries are really going to benefit the most from drone use? Yeah, so if you you, you just met, basically mentioned the infrastructure bill, uh, and that money looks like it's going to start coming uh, to fruition in uh, early to mid next year. We actually have a, 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 a skycopter that's made for inspections. For inspections, you, you typically want, we have a a, a, a very lightweight bubble around the propellers. So if you're inspecting a cell site uh, with all the wires there, you don't want to bump into the cell site and cut the wires and causing more damage than before you got there. So inspection is very important. Bridge inspection, there's 617,000 bridges that need repair. And that means there's 617,000 inspections that need to be done safely without humans dangling off, uh, you know, ropes yeah. and, and wires. So I think infrastructure is going to be a huge play. Uh, there was just actually uh, a bill introduced yesterday 
uh, for over $100 million in grants for Made in USA drones to do infrastructure inspections. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a bipartisan bill, but that, that's just going to, in, in, I mean, we've already been doing stuff with construction workers that are pouring concrete. They just keep watching the different levels to make sure that it's, it's the correct levels, making sure there's no bubbles. There's all sorts of things because we can literally get down and tell you if there's a bad leaf on a tree. So inspecting cement is very easy for us. So, but you can save thousands of dollars in those inspections. We've saved General Motors over a million dollars in their factories by using robots, flying robots, instead of human beings dangling off cranes that do that build cars. That's so impressive. And one of my other questions, well, that you just self-answered is what makes Red Cat Holdings so impressive, really making it one of the most valuable companies in the industry. I know you guys are trending well. You're, uh, you know, our cat is doing amazing. But, uh, you know, you just answered the question. You're solving real world issues with your technology. And of course, you have these amazing contracts. But when you're looking at it from a from a, a, a CEO's point of view, you are at the forefront of all of these advances and the research, which is really kind of where, where most companies lack, right? They, understanding what you're selling and understanding your product is really kind of something that you are really exceptionally great at. So yeah, great job there. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. Um, and interestingly enough, we have about two minutes left, um, just being mindful of the time. But when you look at another recent example of drones, they were a vital part of Norway's biggest landslide rescue operation, Jeff. Interestingly enough, uh, multiple DG, DJI drones were used to cover an area of two square kilometers and rescue workers used drones to map possible survivors and gauge danger. And a fleet of drones provided emergency responders with situational awareness, live footage, and even 3D maps of the site that were instrumental in rescuing over 1,000 victims of the disaster. So yes, you are 100% right. We're starting to see this. And how can how can drones not be part of our everyday lives, right? Yeah, well, absolutely. And one of the things that um, is, is very uh, specific to Red Cat is we're really focused on nighttime capabilities with a drone. Most drones that are made in the USA are autonomous. And once it becomes dark, they're no longer usable. We're really focused on nighttime because, frankly, uh, you know, most government missions are done at nighttime. And to use that landslide as an example, half of that time frame was probably dark. So we have a very, uh, very uh, qualified thermal camera that could help in situations like that to identify people in, in a landslide like that. And you don't want to stop your mission with drones once it gets dark. So uh, our nighttime capabilities are probably the best in the industry. And we're going to continue to expand on that. I love that. And and not only are you going to expand on it, but there's so many people trying to get into the space right now. I know you guys are at the forefront, but according to verified market research, which the global drones market size was valued at approximately 20 billion in 2020, but it's projected to reach approximately 64 billion by 2028. Yeah. So these are excellent growth uh, projections. And it just kind of really wants, you know, it, it really, it's really incentivizing investors to have a look at really what this industry is all about. We are out of time. I want to thank you so much for coming on, my friend. You are always so full of knowledge. And I, I love chatting drones because they are solving real world issues. And as a mom, I'm always about safety, about how to make something more effective, but more importantly, how to change the traditional way of doing things and make it more effective and better. Great. You're, you're correct. Drones can do stuff better, face faster, cheaper and safer. So thanks for having me on. You got it, Jeff. Thank you so much. Guys, it's clear that drones are pushing boundaries and impacting hundreds of thousands of lives all across the globe. More than ever, drones have now become a powerful force for positive social impact in the world. And you definitely have to stay at the forefront of the technology. Make sure you're tuning in to a moment of Zen. That was our business and buzz segment brought to us by Reverse Securities. And definitely check out this amazing company, Red catholdings.com and check them out on the gram at Red Cat Propware. You're listening to a moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York. We'll be right back after